guys, it's Stu Ann, and this is going to be another interview vlog. I am so excited for it because, oh, I hope it's not too windy and I hope you can hear me. I'm so excited to share this one with you. I have done two interviews in the past for All Wise Meadery, which is my friend's company. This is the first interview at the actual space. And it's crazy to see something start as an idea, working towards it, and now it coming to fruition. And I'm literally like, Oh. Also, I've had my gimbal for a year and I still don't know how to use it. Anyways, and the fact that it's finally coming to fruition and I can touch, <laughs> touch the space. I'm gonna take you in and we will begin. taking the time to let me interview you. Of course, um, my okay, pleasure. so, sorry, I just cut you off. <laughs> my name is Matt Kwan, and I am the CFO here at Allwise. I handle basically all our financials. Make sure Dylan and Doug don't go buy swords and axes. And, <laughs> but yeah, I, I do the financials here. Just make sure we don't go bankrupt. How did you get involved with Allwise to begin with? After Dylan and I graduated at NYU, he talked about opening up this meadery, and I was like, oh, that sounds cool, and being in college with him, I tasted all of the interesting meads that he made in college. And he was like, yeah, and he, really in his closet, in his bathtub, and I'm just like, okay, this is, this is a cool concept, and then um, I think like in 2016, sometime in, in the spring maybe, he asked me, he was like, hey, you want to come run this thing with me and, and help me out, and I was like, why not? And then Doug moved out March of 2016, uh -huh. and then that's that's when everything kind of like lifted off, and then we're here now. The fact that you're here now is absolutely crazy because pretty stressful, but insane nonetheless. So tell me a little bit about what we see here. Like, what are these huge silver? Um, so these four guys are the fermenters and they are what we brew the meat in these sm two smaller ones hold about 800 gallons roughly and then these two big ones over there hold about 1200 give or take what does that mean in terms of bottles how many bottles can each fermenter make uh, at one roughly about 4000 give or take uh, wow yeah big ones of course will make more but you know it's, it is, it's whatever that we want to fill them up to. But, believe it or not, we're actually considered a micro winery, so that means we make under, I think it's like 500,000 gallons a year or something like that. We're, we're tiny wow. compared to uh, these other wineries in, in the government's eyes. This guy is our standard show mead. Just a simple honey, yeast, water, let it sit. Um, we do oak it now with oak spirals. So we put these four foot oak spirals and it imparts an oak, oakiness flavor that a lot of wineries, meaderies, some breweries do in the oak barrels, but it's just a more economic turn on it. And then this guy we put in two weeks ago, I think today, and this one is an oolong tea mead, which I'm very excited for. Um, a very dry mead, just, just with a lot of um, the notes and back end flavors of what oolong tea is. Oh my gosh. So exciting. <laughs> mm -hmm. Super yummy. Other than this, we have the upstairs, which is all the labeling and bottling, and that's where we'll we'll be doing that. So let's, let's head on up there. Just getting shots of your butt, Matt. Nice. Oh wow. We rolling? Yeah. 
<laughs> Tell me what we have here. So this guy is what labels our bottles. And if we do do caps, we have that option, but no one likes caps. This guy is the big guy, literally. Oh my gosh. Um, this is the one that fills it up and then corks it and then gets it ready for the labeling process. So it saves a lot of work for us, specifically. <laughs> it's um, machines, you yeah. hire machines. We hire machines. Yeah. The machines are taking over, Duane. Uh, no, oh my god, did you watch the episode of, of Silicon Valley last night? No, I did not. Oh, well, oh don't spoil it. Then, okay. As you said before, you are the CFO, so the Chief mm -hmm. Financial Officer. Yes. That's crazy to take, take that on in a brand new business. That you, you've never started a business before. No, nope, this is the first one. So <laughs> we're, we're diving in pretty deep. Yeah, and how old are you? 25. Wow. Yeah, 25. That's crazy. That's yeah. so inspiring. Like, Thank that's you. Incredibly inspiring. To be Thank 25 you. And yeah. Oh my goodness, I didn't think about it like that. Yeah. Mm. But also to like be here and it's real. Like this is your guys' place. Like, yeah. Those are your fermenters. Those are our babies. Those are your babies. Mm -hmm. And they're brewing right now. They're brewing. They're they brewing. are, yeah. So what are some tips that you can, that you'd like to share with aspiring business entrepreneurs? I think for me, the, the biggest tip that I can give to anyone who wants to start their own business or just whether it be a venture like this or just something out of their house, um, you have to put the work into it. You have to start from the ground up. You gotta do the, the menial tasks, like mopping the floor or cleaning the toilet or whatever it may be. You, ha you have to do everything to, to run your own business. And I think it helps you become a better leader when you do get to the point in the business that you're hiring employees, you're kind of directing people what this goes here, this goes there, we're brewing that today, not taking a bath in it, and yeah. you know, whatever it may be. So. I th that's the biggest tip that I can give to anyone is is you, you got to do the work. You you get what you put into it essentially. Are there lots of troubles or hurdles that you've come across being so young and um, in business? I think for Doug, Dylan, and I, we we have come into some trouble because of how young we are in the industry. Most meteries particularly are generally have older older people running them and, and owning them in the brewing industry. It's the same case, but you do find those kind of like standout breweries or wineries that do have younger, I guess, millennial-aged owners, mm -hmm. like like myself. And in, in trouble, I would say, is just more trying to be cheated out of. Like we've, we've people have tried to like undercut us or whatnot about, oh, you guys are young; they're not going to know to look at this clause and this document and yeah. and we'll we'll, we'll like overcharge them like lawyers, lawyers um, contractors subcontractors uh, just just pretty much everyone um, you, you got to do the due diligence and, and then that circles back to what I had said before is you gotta you gotta do the work mm -hmm. and make sure and and having Dylan and his presence here hasn't really been a detriment or a benefit because in the business world it's the business world you you wheel and deal and, and that's how you do it you know it's it's not there are no shortcuts to it no one's gonna hand you something just because of who you are or what you're doing mm -hmm. um, you have to work as hard or not yeah. harder exactly that's and that's what it comes down to mm -hmm. hard so work has, how exciting has it been so far it's been exciting or stressful or like mm -hmm. is your brain just stressed out that you're not excited yet or what what's happening I think I'm too stressed <laughs> to be excited, talk to me in like six months. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, just imagine like six months from now or a year from now and uh, everything is like up and running and how incredible you're gonna feel and like proud of yourself and, and the fact that you guys have come this far already and like your products and products are literally being brewed. They're right being now. brewed, they yeah. To sell around the world. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. very exciting. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. Is there anything that you'd like to add or an inspirational thing that you'd like to share with anybody? My dad has always said, you get what you put into it. And, and that, I think that circles back to the point that I made previously is that you put the work in, rewards will come. And then my mom has always told me, you can play hard, but you gotta work hard. So 
drink a lot of mead, gotta work to make the mead. I leave you with that. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. My pleasure. Okay, Whoa. so I hope that you guys enjoyed that. Wait, is the focus on this? I can't right, see anything. I can't tell. It's too bright. <sighs> But no, seriously, it's crazy to be here. When is your product gonna be available? Because I'm sure that they would love to know. So our product will be available beginning of summer. We're working on distribution outlets, but mm -hmm. you will be able to find us definitely online. And of course, here at the Meadery when we do open. So be on the lookout for that. And it's the two that are commenting right now. It'll be your show mead and yes. your oolong tea. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. Also, I for totally forgot to ask you about, but there's actually a downstairs to this whole beautiful building yes. right here. Mm -hmm. And what is that going to be? Right now, it's just a lot of dust in there. It's a, it's a big <laughs> white box with tons and tons of dust, so you don't want to go down there. It will be a tap room for our mead, and that will open later this year. That's so exciting. Yeah. I'm excited for that. I'm going to be here every day, and oh. you're just going to be like, Dad, Dad, give us money. <laughs> I just have like a forever long tab. I <laughs> promise guys, I'll pay I'll it pay next later. week. I'll pay later. Last but not least, uh, talk about these beautiful hats. These amazing hats are basically our staff hats. So and everyone working in here, plus the tap room downstairs, mm -hmm. as well as friends and family. And we have a limited amount of them. So if you want to buy one, you can find it on our website, allwisemetery.com. And then when you're in New York, uh, come here. Come check us out. Yeah, seriously. It's very exciting. I'm very proud of you. Thank you so much for letting me interview you and pleasure. your brain yeah. and everything. Thank you. Okay. Bye.